looks at these. So it's uh, summertime here now, and everybody's getting married, and we have to go to all the weddings, and we have to buy everyone a gift. So that's really expensive. So basically, I told the old lady I will go to uh, the store and get some horseshoes for cheap, and I will make everyone a wine rack. So that's what I'm doing right now. Got a wedding tomorrow, and this will be their gift. Probably use these 8th inch 7018. Uh, they lay a pretty nice bead, nice and flat, and uh, I'll do it probably 100 amps or so. Um, a DC electric positive, I believe. <clears throat> DC electric positive. At about 100 amps, 110 amps. Get her nice and hot. Well, there she is. Took me about 10 minutes. Just uh, had to adjust the heat a little bit. And I basically just lay these out flat on the table. I do all the welding in the back so you can't really see it, but uh, I'll turn the heat up pretty good and lay a pretty nice flat bead so uh, you can't really see. And then uh, put these on the side and just, you know, try to orient it so that it's flat on the table. It's got um, like six points of contact, so it's hard to make them square. But, you know, they're not really moving around much. Zinfandel. And you get the right horseshoe size. She fits in there like that. And uh, you can sit it like that, or you can sit it like that. You can get bigger horseshoes for champagne or wine or whatever you want so that's pretty much it for about 15 bucks and 15 minutes got yourself a one-of-a-kind gift just clean it up with the wire wheel uh, you know make it look patinaed a little bit you can see the they come with a little coating on them and if you just randomly take some of the coating off get like right there underneath the neck of the wine bottle it makes it look kind of old but uh, best thing, or you know, try and keep everything square and upright, and try not to have too many welds. Like that weld in the corner there, that thing's pretty blobby. So, <clears throat> if I was a TIG man, I would TIG this in a heartbeat. Anyway, thanks for watching.